Hello everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel and today we are starting The Clone Wars. I have never watched this show. Being a huge Star Wars fan, you know, the films of Mandalorian, the Book of Boba Fett, the games like Battlefront and Fallen Order, I thought it was finally time I got around to watching everything I've not watched. The Clone Wars, Rebels, Bad Batch, I've never been an animation style person. But today we begin this journey to review every single Star Wars product, uh, whether that be TV, film, I'll be doing the games with gameplay on the screen. Obviously, I don't want to show the film and TV shows, but obviously we'll be giving a daily review of everything, starting with the seven seasons of Clone Wars. I'll be watching the film hopefully tomorrow as well, as I know that's technically before the first episode. But I've watched the first episode, so when I review that, join my Twitter and give my thoughts on everything the animation the characters the story and what i what i loved about it uh so yeah subscribe and not subscribe and like comment for anything i just want to see i will be covering everything i can from the star wars universe if you're a star wars fan be sure to come here news and everything else that is star wars related coming in the next few months as we have kenobi soka and or mando 3 the finale of boba fett and of course, much more will be announced. I like Bad Batch Season 2, that's going to be coming out soon as well. So stay tuned for all that. And of course, spoilers ahead if you've never seen anything to do with Star Wars, as this is the sequel to Attack of the Clones and Phantom Menace, of course. So be sure to check them out before you watch this review. And of course, enjoy. So, Star Wars The Clone Wars, Episode 1, the first ever episode that begins my journey into this 22 episode season one 30 minute episodes roughly and they're just so good like not much happens technically you know this episode focuses on yoda and three troopers going down to this moon uh to help out this king and to prove why they should form an ally with the jedi and the republic and of course asajj ventures rock up being um uh, the Padawan per se to um, or the Apprentice to Dooku um, she works alongside Dooku she has two lightsabers which is awesome I don't know her age, I don't know her exact role she's called um, uh, I'll learn more about Sarge Ventures' character, I've known a lot about her in the past few years but it's about obviously once I start to watch this, what her actual involvement is and her connection to Grievous and Dooku and the Emperor, so I'm very excited to dive all into that but obviously, we saw Dooku from uh, the telegraph, the, the tele, the thing that they were holding in the hand. I don't, I don't know the exact word what it's called. Um, but yeah, he wasn't really in the episode. So I, mean, I think he's one of the main villains of the first couple of seasons. Because um, I used to collect the figures of like Count Dooku, Asajj, Obi Wan, Anakin, and Soka. But yeah, we only got we got Yoda kicking the crap out of battle droids, super battle droids, droidikers. Um, the huge tanks they have. It was great to see him working with the troopers and how good a relationship they have. Um, Yoda proper putting Asajj Ventress in his place, how he just forced the, the lightsabers off her. Love that scene. I love the cartoon style. It's truly brilliant. Like all the characters, like, you know, you, you look at the poster in front of you, the characters, some of them look very different from how they do in the live action. But it's tremendous. The movement, the, the scenery... The character design, I love everything about this show, and I've only watched one episode. And you could just see with seven seasons how much depth and story they're going to have in there. You have three Jedis on the screen at the moment. You have a couple of droids, the three big bad of the series. I believe, obviously, Darth Maul's in the series as well, so you got four. Uh, but yeah, a fantastically well-written episode. Dave Filoni, you know, obviously involved with the current shows of Boba Fett and Mandalorian. He's the guy who has a huge involvement in the Clone Wars. And obviously, you can see how much of a fan he is. Like Yoda's design was so cool. His movement was slick. How he was jumping from battle droid to battle droid like he does in live action films. I loved the fight scenes. I, um, I loved how the troopers had a huge part in this episode. Because uh, you watch Attack of the Clones, they rock up at the, the battle, they annihilate everyone. They don't really do much. Then obviously in the third one, they have a couple of scenes where they team up with Jedis, then they turn on the Jedi, then they annihilate the Jedis. Um, not until they become the Stormtroopers they have a massive involvement. But I loved how, you know, they have characteristics. I would say that's why we got the Bad Batch and Cody and Rex. 
Uh, they take the masks off, give them personalities. Even with the clones, they look very different. And I loved that. I love how they separate it from each other. And I'm very much looking forward to see where they go from this. Because obviously, I don't know every single story that happens in the Clone Wars. But a very good start, very good introduction. And I'm looking forward to seeing the relationship between Yoda and the... Um, and the, and the troopers, like, like we got at the end of Attack of Clones, he works very close to him, which I'm very excited for. So let me know what you're thinking down below of the Clone Wars. Um, this is I'm going to give this episode a 10 out of 10, as just as it started. Uh, and I'm looking forward to doing this on the daily. Stay tuned for every single review that rocks up on this channel. We're going to be watching so many different TV shows, movies, and so much more. Catch you in the next one by subscribing, liking, comment, anything else you want to see. Take care. Thanks for watching.